The Ledger 20 meter shuttle run test is appropriate for the athlete population. To begin, we want to measure out three meters, marking the warning zone with two different color cones. From the first cone, the orange cone, we will measure out 20 meters and drop another orange cone and create another warning zone. The layout should look like this. You will run 20 meters back and forth between two lines to test your cardiovascular endurance. Keep in mind this is a time test. Start off slower and progressively speed up. You want to continually run until you can no longer keep up the pace. You will run between two beep lines. These lines will be marked by cones run in a straight line. The Legier 20 meter shuttle run consists of multiple levels. Each level has a set number of shuttle runs. The number of shuttle runs will increase as the levels increase. The allotted time for the shuttle runs will become progressively faster with each level. The first beep is the start beep. Immediately begin the test once you hear the beep. Once you hear the beep, you must have at least one foot on or beyond the first line to complete the shuttle. When you reach the beep line, you must turn and pivot on the line before running to the opposite side. Do not perform wide turns or run behind the line if you reach the beep line before the second beep. Wait on or over the beep line for the next shuttle to start. If you fail to reach the warning zone before the second beep, then that is one strike. The warning zone is the area between the first and second cone. Remember you must touch the beep line before you can turn and run to the opposite side. If you fail to reach the warning zone three times, then the test is commenced. The shuttle is the last level you completed, not the one you stopped on. Stage five and one half. From this test, we want to record the number of laps completed per level along with the allotted time. Presented is one equation that can be used to figure a person's VO2 max from this specific test. The second formula that can be used is the Ledger 1988 equation. By following these equations and the data collected from the test with our participants, they would fall within the average category when looking at this chart. And here is the woman's chart. This test would be useful for athletes looking to improve their cardiovascular endurance.